the, so I know we're getting off topic here, but a That's lot of fine. these things play into that. With the start of AEW, I'm just looking at it as, uh, again, I was out, and I don't, I, I'm not stupid. I take note of what's going on in wrestling. But I, I can also, especially once I was working <laughs> WWE, I can just ask people, look, what's really going on? To, to filter out 98% of the gossip and the, and the you know, because and I'm probably going to get slated by everybody who writes about wrestling now. This is, I, I'm, I'm not an old wrestler who wants to knock on anybody. I'm not, I'm not going to knock on anybody. But at best, at best, under the greatest circumstances, unless you are actually there, the person writing about this, you are getting secondhand information. Mm-hmm. We all know that. What's that thing you play? It's, I, I know what the, the term telephone. is in this. Right. Telephone. So if you're getting information, it's and, and I know personally, because I've been involved in things and stories that have certainly not come out, and under the best, and under people who are excellent writers at this, that know about this job, they're not the way I could tell them. And they're not the way I remember them because they've been told by other people. I've said this on a few interviews lately, and this is the way sometimes to look at life. There's a great documentary on HBO about the Bee Gees. Whether you like the oh, Bee great. Gees or not. That's, that's watch a great it. documentary. I loved it. Loved it. But whether you like them or not, because first of all, it's in- incredible life. And if, if you're a wrestler, just to watch what they went through, you'll probably find connections of what you've gone through to get to where you are. But at the very beginning, it's Barry, the one that's, I hate to say that, but it is Barry that's the one who's alive, right? Yes. He's, he's right. Barry, at the very beginning, the first sentence of that is him overlooking the, 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 the Miami from his house and overlooking the bay and him saying, I've come to realize there's no such thing as truth because if my three brothers were here now, They'd all tell you a different story of what of, of our story, and that's what it is because you're seeing it from your eyes at that particular moment in your life, and then it gets told by somebody else and told by somebody else and told by somebody else, or you you see it from one set of eyes and you and somebody else sees it from another. So after a while, I could just go to a lot of people in WWE, right? Not and I mean loads of people who I know keep up on everything or are, and I hope they don't take this the wrong way, but they are, they, they very prone to, to liking a bit of gossip, Like, Save me bothering with all that. What What's actually going on? Right. Is there any right. actual, that, right. Or tell me something. Okay. If it, if that's important to my life, because otherwise it's completely wasted headspace for me. I've got a thousand wrestlers out there. Want to get a job here. I, I I'm doing all this extra stuff trying to get them jobs. I'm, I've got people at NXT that all rely on me for something. Why do I need to take up any more of my headspace with a load of who's, who's got heat with who? Right. That's right. just just wasting my time. It's just yes, wasting sir. my time that I could be helping somebody with. Because every second, again, last summer, I went through all the people. There was a hundred and... Was it 160 or 70 people that I'd been watching their matches for the last five years. And obviously the last couple of years, they haven't been able to send me hardly anything or the, not the best of stuff. But these are, a lot of these were people that were from before that. And I tried to find anything, something I'd still kept in touch with um, because there was no, nothing there for them. And, but I used to think if I don't do this, who's going to do it? That's, there's number one. Who's going to help them? Because right. again, I wouldn't be here if somebody hadn't helped me. If Two, not you, then who, it, right? Right. But also, if I do do this for them and they, it doesn't work out for them, they may pass that bit of information onto some younger talent that it might work out for them. Does that make sense? So Absolutely. by me helping somebody else, I can only get to what it, So I went through all these people and sent them emails back. Look, I, from what I've seen now, I, this is not what anybody's looking for. So I actually, for the first time, said no, because everybody else I've kept, 
kept up with over the last amount of years and some have just quit wrestling or some have gone whatever. But I kept in touch with all these people and all these emails coming in to find out, like, in case, because I didn't know what, and I want, never wanted to not be on top of the job. I never wanted to go, I I, I haven't got anybody for that. Because I then I thought I, then I thought that I wouldn't be doing my job right. So while all this stuff was going on, I'm doing all this other stuff. And I tried to filter out as much gossip and nonsense as possible or people's views of whatever, because it's taking up headspace of mine that I can be helping people with. Because my job is to help talent, right? Once they get right. to WWE or got to NXT, I'd help them. They... Uh, you know that that's another job but it's getting them my my man one of my main jobs is to recruit talent, is to get them in there mm-hmm. and then they're gonna maybe get time with me or me and that another thing the bigger nxt you become the less time i had for, for as many people so you end up spending it more with the people that are they're actually on the show every single se- second that i'm spent talking to somebody takes away from time that i'm just talking to somebody else You're right. so uh, right. Does that make sense? So it's a knock-on effect of constant thing. Mm -hmm. I want it. That's why when I talk now, this is why you're getting it. I want to go here, have all this. Right. Right. (laughs) Have, have everything that I've got going on in here, but it's not that easy. I, 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 you know, I'm not a great trainer. I'm because I've got too much going on in my brain. My brain works at a different level of of that. So I, I can help you if you, once you're, you're at a certain standard, that's when I can start really helping you. Because if it's getting to it, it's, I'm, I'm trying to do Z before, or Z, as you say, before you can do A. Right. You need to learn how to do A, B, C properly, or or even get up to, to you know, to, to probably, you know, P. <laughs> if you get to P, then I'm, I can help you a lot with little minute details of things that can take you to another level. But, and so that's where everybody else comes in, you know, because we all have a part in this. It, so there's so much was going on at that time that it was just another place. Okay, it's it's another thing. So, I, yes, there was all kinds of stuff going on around me, but I wasn't giving it much attention. I was trying to do my job, which was help WWE, right? Once they get right. to WWE or got to NXT, I'd help them. They... You know that that's another job, but it's getting them. My my man, one of my main jobs is to recruit talent, is to get them in there, mm-hmm. and then they're gonna maybe get time with me or me. And that another thing, the bigger NXT you become, the less time I had for, for as many people. 